Throughout history, people have gone to war for countless reasons. Politics, economics, even clashes of culture. But the victor hasn't always been the one with the larger army. For a small nation like Taiwan, which neighboring China has threatened to take by force, the conflict in Ukraine is offering valuable lessons in defense strategy, particularly when faced with an army of greater capacity. The reason why Ukraine is able to hang on there and to destroy so many of uh, the Russian uh, military hardware is because of their asymmetric capability. Uh, what as asymmetric capability means is that we use uh, smaller or more mobile but more lethal type of uh, defense with a lower cost type of uh, capability that is able to deter a major military force. And we want to procure the kinds of systems that are suitable for the asymmetric warfare on our part. Asymmetric warfare describes armed conflict between opposing forces with significantly different military capabilities. China spends 17 times more on defense than Taiwan, with roughly 400 nuclear warheads and the world's largest navy. While Taiwan has anti-ship missiles and air defense systems similar to those being used by Ukrainian forces against the Russians, there's another U.S.-made weapon that both Taiwan and Ukraine want to purchase. Um, in, a, in a Howard series, a, you know, one of, one five, a very large artillery round that when it impacts, it can really hurt a military formation. Even inside of a tank, it can really mess them up. So you want systems like that that can fire you know, 30, 40 kilometers away from where you are trying to break up the military long before it gets close to you. And that's what Ukrainians need at this moment. They need to destroy the Russian convoys before they even get to the cities or near to the locations they want to take. Uh, that's why it's one of the top requests right now because they're so powerful and so far reaching um, that they can destroy so much, in the, especially in the open. Weapon systems like the howitzer would bolster Taiwan's defenses by acting as a strategic deterrent at a fraction of the cost of China's hardware. The howitzer is priced at roughly 700,000 U.S. dollars. Taiwan has also ordered more Stingers from the U.S., which is a portable anti-aircraft missile launcher. It only costs about 38,000 U.S. dollars, but can effectively take out Chinese fighter jets, which cost upward of $100 million each fighter jets that are increasingly flying into Taiwan's air defense zone. So far this year, there have been more than 450 incursions. That you see a situation that China has been threatening Taiwan in a very serious way. And we don't have any luxury of waiting for four years, five years, or 10 years to beef ourselves up. We need to be prepared at any moment. But there's a backlog on weapons deliveries from the U.S. as the war in Ukraine enters its fourth month. And as Taiwan waits to receive this hardware, it's taking note of how it's being used on the battlefield, guided by the Eastern European nation, which is proving to the world that small doesn't have to mean outgunned. Damon Lin and Jaime Okan for Taiwan Plus.